Alright boys, we're going in for another game of Auto Chess. I've uh, polished up my skills since I last played. <coughs> Been winning more consistently now, so figure I'd jump back in with the confidence to show the world what I'm made of, what's deep inside. And if you follow my tips, then you too can find out what's deep inside. Only on Sadbury FM. In all seriousness, I'm only a casual player, but um, you're welcome to take any of my playstyle tips. And it's begun! Oh, that empty chessboard is a beautiful sight. Alright, starting off, got some pretty trash pieces here. Um, Gonna take the bat rider and throw that in there. So to start off, I think what we want to do is get past all the trash mobs, um, picking whatever pieces we can, trying to build the best team possible. And then once we get to level four, we want to ding up to five straight away. And then once we get halfway through five, we we'll ding up to six straight away. And then we're gonna. The plan is to stay at six for quite a while till we get over 50 cash, and from there. We'll, uh, I'll show you how to um, consistently try and win games. Now on our second pick here, got a few more decent pieces this time. Um, Slaughter, Tusk, Beastmaster, they're all good. I'll probably go for Beastmaster just because standalone, personally I think is the strongest out of this set here. Um, I could try and push for Warrior Synergy by getting rid of this guy. I'm going to take Tusk instead of the Troll Knight. Um, I'm tempted to take Juggernaut instead of this guy. In fact, nope, I've run out of time. Okay, that's fine. That does not matter at all. Got a ring here. I'm not going to pop it on anyone right now just because. Well, I just don't like to. I can't. I'm too lazy to click over here and click over there. I don't really like giving items to my best best characters, even though I know I'm going to get it back once I sell them. But still, like, what if I end up keeping Tusk and I've just given him all the items? It's not as good as giving it to, like, a Doom. For example, <coughs> um, third pick, not looking that good, I could get a Furion. I'm going to grab a Tiny, just for the synergy of uh, possibly going for a Warrior build. It's got a Troll uh, build there. So it's gone, kind of gone mix. Uh, Druids, I guess. He's missing a piece. No real synergies right now. This guy's AFK or something. I don't know what he's doing. We want to keep an eye on our level here now. Because once we go up to level 4, we want to try and go straight up to um, level 5. I'm tempted to take both these tree and protectors because why not as well so I'm gonna swap out the orc hunter for this slaughter it's giving me a triple warrior bonus hopefully that should be better than the orc hunter on his own might throw him back in once um, once I've gone up to level 4 Okay, we've got Mex and a Demon Knight. I think we probably will lose to that. I feel like early in the game, the Mech Regeneration bonus is just better. And the Chaos Knight alone is a very strong unit and with his 50% Demon Damage bonus. Yeah, we lost. That's fine. We don't expect to win this uh, early on. It doesn't really matter. Other than for the win streak, it's good to get it going. But other than that, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're drawing a slaughter and a tiny here. I'm gonna pick up that Furin as well so that we can combo him with the tree and protector, get him to level two. And now we've got a cheeky little level two tree and protector in there with our lovely old beast master. Let's see we win level two morphling level two tree and protector. My money's on my protector. I think his superior health will see him through and it will. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're at four, and we can afford it. We're gonna go up a level. Ah, 
I'm um, just thinking do I want to take these two axes because if I do then I'm going to lose out money wise there's even a fury and I can go up to level 2 fury and yeah we're definitely going to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to get level 2 fury and um, I'm going to sell a tusk go up to level 5 and that should be okay for now I do want to take this queen of pain though she's very good as well no, oh, she shows up again, I'll grab her. So we've got the druids, we've got warriors. Let's see what the heart of the cards gives us. Let me go from there. Never this early on in the game, never never commit to anything as much as your heart wants wants your team to be um you gotta stay flexible this early in the stages. So now we're at level five, we're gonna wait till this bar goes about half and then we're gonna level up. Um, I wish I could tell you what n that some people are able to get numbers up which is a very useful because then you can tell exactly how much you need unfortunately for some reason I don't know how to do that so I have to just trust my um, my gut on will it get me to the next level or not okay so now looking at this we've got a Luna we've got a Lycan both of which synergize with what we got now so I'm gonna grab a Luna because we've got two elves and we, with the Luna we can go up to three elves I'm gonna bench Tiny for now. Sorry, Tiny, my friend. Or contact and snare, and we'll swap Slada for the level three Lycan. Because personally, I think he's a bit better than Slada. <coughs> also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this tree ant my items because I trust them in his hands. I believe him. I believe in him. Even though his level three form is probably one of the weakest, but that's fine. That's what we uh, committed to. Okay, so we can start to see here we're kind of getting an elf build going on, and that is usually a very popular build amongst people. So I'm just going to look around now quickly in these 40 seconds that we've got left, at what everyone's got. So I've drawn another Luna here. I've got a level three Slardar now as well. That would be useful. Um, anyone running elves? Let's just see. No. This guy's running nothing. What a brave man! I wish I had though. That's a lot of trolls I'm seeing. Oh, this guy seems like he's kind of going elves. He's got Alf Dragon on the bench, but not really. Uh, we've got eight seconds now <laughs> to do this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, you come back. Uh, did we see a tiny? Oh, we did see a tiny. Okay, I'll do him next round. We shouldn't lose. Hopefully, we should still win. Level this much level two is it's pretty much a sure thing. We should win, especially against this. So yeah, nobody's running elves surprisingly. I mean, mechs and elves are usually the two most popular, and then third probably like warriors. Uh, and knights but um, I'm very surprised to see no elves so I am thinking to go for elves um, if you're new to this game how it works is the more people have the piece the less it's going to show up here so that's why it matters when I say is anybody else going elf elf sorry but for now we're gonna level up tiny and throw him in there we don't have to stick pure to elves we just it's very early we're gonna stick to um what our strongest pieces are. We're also going to level up as you see there the guy had gone up to level f halfway through level 5 and we're going to throw in Lycan here so now we're going to be getting triple warrior boost and we're going to be getting triple elf boost in a increased evasion for these guys and increased defense for these guys so we should be winning hopefully it's looking good beautiful we're on a 5 win streak now that's um, what you kind of want to get going uh, for the most money, the longer your win streak is, the more money you get, as well as, of course, the interest factor. Um, let's see what we're drawn here. So, this is a trash pick. There is an elemental mage who does synergize with Tiny, um, and there is a beast if you do want to get that beast synergy going. But it does seem like we're leaning towards elves, but I'm going to grab Razor anyway. Um, because he can synergize with Tiny, and if you have two elementals, the attackers have a chance to turn to stone, which is, I I quite like it. I mean, obviously everyone's going to, be to have their preferences. And Sand King, I'm going to leave for now because I want that interest. Although I am tempted to quickly snipe him. I don't know, that's a difficult one. Do I want Sand King, don't I? I don't know. It's always exciting waiting for the pick. Here we go. We got another elf. Beautiful. Let's throw her straight in there. 
Um, do I want to lose my warrior bonus? How many elves for the evasion? I'm one away from the uh, evasion thing. Yeah, I'd rather keep the warrior bonus for now, I think. Just until I have enough elves. I might as well grab Morphling as well, actually, because I've got this guy. So I'm thinking at the moment to go elves and elementals. Keep tiny, possibly keep Slada because it's not too hard to get two naggers and get their bonus. Probably sell like and maybe I don't know. Let's see. Um, but a tiny, considering I've drawn these guys, if I can get them to level two, I will be adding them to the roster. I reckon. So let's see how we're doing here now in round eleven. Still on top of our enemies. That's pretty good. So we're at level six now. It's gonna take a while to get to level seven. But once what I do is once I get to level six. I will not level up now. I will not re-roll either. On no circumstance will I re-roll these picks. Obviously, I'll buy whatever I need. Um, Slada, I don't really need. He's at level two. I don't think I want to get him to level three right now because I don't even. There's no point committing to getting him to level three if you don't know if you're going to keep him in your team. Um, once you're keeping him in your team, then I'd say do it. But as I was saying, saying, once I'm level six, what I like to do is I stay at level six until I get above fifty gold. And then I stay above 50 gold all the way to level 10. And then that's when I start spending my money. Just because otherwise I've found that in the late game you just run out of stamina if you do not have above 50 gold. Um, you may notice people around you going up to level 7. Nobody here seems to be doing it. Um, in fact a lot of them are still level 5. But um, don't worry if someone else is one level above you. In the late game you will get to level 10 faster than them. And that ultimately will probably be what matters most. Okay, that's good. Another win here. Yeah, our bloody frog's getting a little bit massive for his boots. He's getting a, He's going to start flying soon, I reckon, as well. Well full of himself, that guy. Um, we've drawn a lichen. We've drawn a beast druid. I think it's worth taking him. Because if we just need um, the enchantress now, we could get the four druid. Which enables us to very easily level these guys up with the uh, right pieces of course <coughs> so the one issue you will have when you are doing this tactic of staying at level 6 for as long as possible is your board space is going to fill up fast so you do need to um, kind of think about what you need and what you don't need like right now I know as long as I if I hit one Luna or one Lycan I know that I'm going to have two board spaces free but I know that Phantom Assassin is going to be taking up space for a while because I don't really have space for her on the board right now Anti-mage, I'm thinking possibly to let go. So I've got three elves on the board, plus Phantom Assassin is four. Um, Puck is five, and there's a Templar Assassin that would make it six. So I possibly don't need anti-mage, but of course there's no guarantee I'm going to hit Puck or um, Templar Assassin. And I have seen some other players running Puck, so that means um, there are other people out for him. So right now I've run into a dilemma of I've hit Enchantress, but I don't have space for her. Um... But to be honest, even I'm not I'm not planning to ha give Enchantress a space on my board, um, and I reckon another Druid will pop up in time for me to do the triple upgrade. So I'm just gonna leave her there, leave her hanging there. Sorry, little girl friend, you're gonna have to wait there for a bit. Oh, there is a Wind Ranger as well. Oh, I do wanna grab that, you know. Oh, that's a dilemma. Anti Mage, goodbye, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bird. So, if six of my pieces are elves, that means the other four will have to be elementals, right? If I'm going by my rule. So that means Slada and Lycan will be surplus to requirements. So now I have to ask myself, do I want to get rid of Lycan and Slada right now? Give me some space, throw Phantom Assassin in there, throw Razor in there. And I'm thinking... Maybe. If I get one of these to level 2, then yeah, I will do that, definitely. Oh god. Oh gosh, they've hit me with the dilemma immediately. Okay, I'm gonna do it because I need the space. So, Lycan, you're gone, mate. Slada, you're gone, mate. Sorry, bud. Templar, Phantom. Templar, get your ass in there. Phantom, get your ass in there too. Uh, and then give me her. And then I've got no space. That's good. But what I do want to do is get her off and get Razor in there. Um, let's put Luna back here. She's looking a bit thingy at the moment, I'll move Tiny over there afterwards. Um, this is getting uh, stressful now with the management. Once you go up to level 10 it all becomes easy, trust me. That's when you're swimming, swimming in dreams. Well, look, we're literally almost above 50 now, no time at all. Um, 
round 15 so you want to like by round 20 be at like level 8 slash 9 you know that's the kind of goal to aim for I mean round 18 I try and be at 8 and then you know just see how fast you can get to 9 and 10 um, right now I'm just wondering do I want Morphling or do I want Razor it's worth keeping him in just because it triggers that elemental bonus and I can't really reach the uh, elf bonus just yet <clears throat> I've not got enough spaces although I could swap out tiny and the other elemental and get that bonus that's a thought I might actually do that because how much is it it's plus 50 so that's 50 percent chance to evade that's actually quite good I might swap them out I'll see let's just see what we get in the next pick I'll likely decide got a tree and protector that's about it oh I've also got this long Jew, don't I the main might not be space for him but I do need to keep him for the um just for the triple druid thing trigger what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna try out six hours rather than four hours and two thingies okay now what I usually so once I'm above 50 what I do is if whatever I buy I buy and then whatever money's left over that keeps me above 50 I'll spend it because you can't earn interest above 50 <coughs> So it looks like going six elves has not worked out well, most likely because a lot of them are under level uh, level ones. So they're quite weak, so I'm gonna have to swap tiny back in. I think the team needs him right now unfortunately. Um, let's throw them back in. Plus, Wind Ranger, I think, is probably a weak, a very, very weak piece, especially on her own. Templar Assassin is very strong. I'd, I'd highly recommend her if you uh, ever draw her. So, we're going to get a second Wind Ranger here, and we're going to level up twice. We should get up to level 7 now. Oh, yep, yeah, perfect. So, now we can throw in. Um, let's throw her in, and we should get the Triple Assassin bonus. In fact, I'm going to throw her in because. Um, the elemental bonus is better than the elf bonus right now for me anyway four elves two more will give us the bonus and then I've just got to hit um, Enigma which is the uh, tier 5 um, hero the elemental warlock he might be hard to find but hopefully we should be able to find him so let's see if we fare better now with the uh, elementals in there hasn't gone much well better no, not really. I think we did a tiny bit better, but still got demolished. So right now our problem is too many one levels, but don't panic, don't worry. You've got plenty of life. You will likely have plenty of life as long as you're building a decent team. Um, you'll have plenty of life. Just you got you can take the damage. I think at this stage is usually when I find that most I'll start losing. Even though these guys are level six and whatnot, but that's because they're probably spending their money. But don't worry about it because, like I said, once you get to level 10 just stick to you staying above 50 and once you get to level 10 most likely you will hopefully uh, pull ahead unless you're just getting the worst picks ever which you know just happens in life bro that's life I'm sorry right now I would like an enchantress as well because that would enable us to get a level 3 uh, tree ant that would be very useful right now I've also got this. I'm gonna start putting them in tiny because tiny's effect is a lot better than the tree ants. I've almost only one more Templar Assassin, one more Luna, one more Wind Ranger, and one more Phantom Assassin as well. In fact, so a lot of one mores. Even even so, don't be tempted. Honestly, just once you hit 60, you'll be able to get all of them, and we should be even hit live late soon as well. So you'll have another space on the board um, in terms of worrying about space down here. So, I mean, this is just literally what I find helps me most consistently win games. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't always win. Sometimes it'll be third or second, but, you know, you're always uh, up there. And right now, we've just hit two of our bloody our bloody paces. We've only got them bloody done. It. Look at that. Beautiful. This is when the satisfaction starts to uh, personify itself. Oh, my gosh. It feels so good. We're going to get these level one pieces off now. Um, even Luna. Yep, you're going to have to go love. I'm sorry. 
Um, and then we're going to hit the level up button once. Beautiful. And now we should maybe win. I don't know. Still, um, still do have a bit of a weak team. These guys at level two are basically like level one and a half, just because they're always still level up. They're a bit weaker. Oh, hopefully we should be okay. As long as we don't lose too hard, we're okay. We dropped down to second place now, so we're just going to keep look at, give a quick look at the guy in first place. He's got a level two Luna. That's probably why we're finding it hard to find a Luna right now. He looks like he's gone for knights, full on knights. So you want to keep that in mind going forward. Knights, we should be okay with elves against knights. I think that's usually a decent matchup, especially since we're running elementals. I'd be worried if he's running mages or something. I'd have to think about possibly shifting into naggers and giving myself some magic resistance. But knights, I think we should be okay. I mean, I'm not I'm not that um, learned in this game, but hopefully we should be okay. We'll find out, I guess against these knights. He's looking not like the top player now, but usually at this stage of the game you'll notice a lot of the bottom players might start beating you. Because obviously uh, some of them like to save up their money. We've hit a tr oh we've hit our enchantress. So I was just gonna say we hit a tree and protector but we don't really even need him. So what I'm gonna do now is get off there mate, get back on there. Bish bash bosh. Bob's your uncle there you are. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You majestic son of a gun look at him. Look at him. Let me show you him. Where is he? Where is he? Show me you show me you. Do you Oh, beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Backing out now. Anything else we need? And nope. Nope. Level up twice. Hit level 8. Nope. Okay. Next round we will hit level 8. And we will not have to spend money. We should just hit level 8 automatically. So up against fur bogs now. That's fine. These, are, these guys are usually a good way to measure um, if you're like teams up to scratch right now. Because I mean, I know my team just took them out quite easily, but usually they are quite hard, so they do give you a good measurement uh, if your team is absolute trash or not. And don't worry if it isn't, it usually just means you need to hit a few level 2s, or you just need to work a few synergies out, don't panic, don't worry, don't blow all your money just trying to get back up. Just hit a Luna, there we go, patience has paid off. So we've had her since the start of the game, and all the way into round 20 we've only gone and hit her. So it shows you not to worry too much. And I'm gonna take out Razor, unfortunately. I do think I want one more assassin, don't I? Yes. That would give us a triple assassin bonus as well. Wind range is a bit of an odd one out. I might think about swapping it for anti mage. If does this guy run any demons? He does run a demon. So it might be worth he does run two demons, possibly. So it might be worth um benching, just keeping an anti mage on the bench for if um this guy here keeps a demon out so we can counter that because <clears throat> we don't have any demons ourselves which is rare you do usually pick up a demon it's usually do more sh uh, well they're all good to be honest so I'm not gonna say it's usually any of them we're we'll picking Gabrielle now she's just lost her match she has a leap lich oh my gosh she's level 9 my gosh okay don't let that phase you bro don't, don't let it phase you it's okay you're almost level 9 too okay we just gone up to level 8 we're going to throw in this extra an assassin most likely. Yeah, so you got anti mage and we're going to bench him. I'm going to throw in another assassin to get a triple assassin bonus. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll. Am I? Am I going to re-roll? No, I'm not. God damn it. I was tempted then just then to re-roll, but I'm not. I'm going to stay strong. And I'm going to level up this laundry just so that it doesn't take as much space. The reason I bought him was, even though I'm not going to play him, I mean, he, I might, you know, might be an option at some point, I don't know. But he's, he's not for now though, he's just going to stick on the bench for now. If I had another beast, maybe the Lycan still, I would think about it, but forget it for now. So, so we're back up in a second place, this will give us a good measurement of um, where we are. We had a lot more level 1s the first time we versed him, we've got, gone up to level 2s now on a lot of our characters. And it looks like we are steamrolling him, so that's nice to see. Yep, he's pretty much scared, got destroyed, that's nice. It's level 9, my gosh. How is she going to level 9? Well, I mean, I guess I could go up to level 9 as well if I wanted. But the key to getting to level 10 is the patience. So, I've done this a lot of times where I've just boom, 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 I want to get to level 9. And then I left on like 30 gold. But trust me, it makes it all the harder to get to level um, 10. Okay. Uh, morphling. Yes, please. I definitely need a morphling. Enchantress. I'm just going to grab her just because I like I like seeing level 2s on my bench, it's a lot more satisfying. I know they lose value at level 2. If you didn't know, um, 
like the pieces alone when you get full refund when you sell them back but when they come together you actually make a loss i think on a chantress you actually make a profit i heard that i think i heard that i'm watching a youtuber but i know uh, on most of them you make a loss so now i'm just gonna hit this button twice boom boom don't worry guys pretty soon we will be allowed to hit that reroll button i know you're tempted like i'm one away from a templar assassin i'm one away from a morphling i need two raises which is a lot of raises but stay strong stay steadfast it should pay off hopefully we're in first place right now all could change this guy's running dragons dragons are really strong at the moment so that's a bit scary hopefully it's okay this guy's just dropped out and yeah, we've got a troll team here my gosh you don't see many troll teams it's quite hard to pull off usually um it's probably why it's in last place as well <laughs> sorry bruh okay we've here puck here we could consider swapping um, Wind Ranger for Puck. We have got Razor, but we're not going to get any other mages to trigger the mage bonus. So I would rather just have the variation in pieces. I could grab Puck if I wanted. Um, I mean, not, not like I have the space, but if I do need the space, I'll just sell him. I'll grab him for now. I'll um, test him up against the DPS of um, Wind Ranger at some point if I get him to level 2. And we're just going to smack this button twice and we should be level 9 now we're gonna catch up now this guy's still level 7 and um, he's probably been spending his money on knights they, they can be quite expensive to uh, try and hit um, but uh, to be honest, even then if you use this method you should be okay because once you get to level 10 you have a much higher chance for all the other pe uh, high level pieces as well um, where's that level 9 gone? Has it? have they been kicked out? oh they lost oh is this Gabrielle right here? Yeah, she lost unfortunate Furion, yep, please, one more of him and I should be able to get him level 3. Um, that's fine. Are we level 9 now? Yes, we are. Okay, what do we want to put in here? Razor's probably like the uh, next guy and then after him is going to be Enigma. And then that's this is our team basically right now, what you see here. Um, preferably all leveled up. Uh, so now we know what our team is. We are going to think about getting to level 3s. Luckily, we're running a Druid team right now. So level 3s is quite not too much of a worry especially for these guys but cards like when you're not playing a drew team um, what I tend to do is concentrate on getting one one um, chess piece to level 3 at a time because otherwise you're just gonna have chaos down here trying to um, juggle getting more than one to um, level 3 so we've got a broadsword right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the DPS, Phantom Assassin is doing the most damage, but it is because she's level 2, so Templar Assassin is here and she's level 1, so I am going to give it to Templar Assassin. We've hit our second Fury and beautiful, we're going to level him up to 3, get our chest pieces uh, free, and what we can do now as well is, we can sell these two jabronis off, sorry guys, you're no longer needed, I feel like I used and abused you there, but that's the way it is, that's life, and I can get a second razor. Drone, Lone Druid, you're gone. It's plus six, and um, I think he costs four. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he does. So I did lose two there. And she gets plus three, even though she only costs two. Okay. So Chantress gives you a one profit. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, I mean, I'm way above 50 right now, so let's just spend all that. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Almost there, guys. Hold on to your seats. Put your seatbelts on. It's about to get speedy up in here. Our opponents aren't looking too challenging they're all on very low health apparently um, they're not looking too scary either the teams but that could all change you never know you know this guy's got, it's got I think he's about to get level 3 troll knight which is you know not too shabby at all so now we just sold Lord Druid now he's gonna start appearing everywhere that's usually what happens when I sell, as soon as I sell one piece he's just everywhere he wants, he wants to come back home he misses his daddy I understand my boy but I'm sorry I'm uh, I'm going down a different road now, my friend. Ooh, okay. So now we're just gonna get to level 10. Next round should be able to get to level 10. And then we can re-roll. When it comes to the re-rolling, I would generally try and stay above 50 even until you start getting... Basically, stay until up to 50 until you start losing and getting desperate. Then you can start spending the money. Even then, try and stay above about 30, 20. Because otherwise you just find it becomes very difficult to re-roll basically because you know you're going to be re-rolling like 20 times so you do need to still think about that interest so I've just gone up against the dragon team which I was saying seems scary and we have just lost so this was Woolinger um, 
knight slash well it's a knight team basically yeah this is the knight team that i was worried about um for good reason it seems doom oh he's such a beast unfortunately he does not fit into my archetype right now we're just gonna have to go up to 10 bish bash bosh bob's your wrong call played this anti mage just i'm sure the other teams are running demons and now we can start rolling just keep rolling 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 as the undertaker once said there we go we hit our razor bish bash bosh throw him in there get in there mate come on man you know you want to be level two that's it man that's that's all there is to life and then we can relax and we can roll a bit more i'm gonna stay i'm not gonna roll again i'm gonna stay above 40 don't rush into it pace yourself my friends try and stay above 50 like i said unless you start getting desperate reason i was over below 50 then is because i know i just lost a round so i want to at least get one piece up a level and that way i know that maybe it might turn out different now um reversing soul now who is not the guy that just defeated us and it seems that we will defeat him oh maybe not actually have i been too cocky it's tight troll is very strong but he looks like he's got fury in the way wind ranger oh she's done it she's redeemed herself well done love well done i know you're trash i think i know i know everyone thinks you're trash but i believe in you enigma oh yes beautiful oh we hit a templar as well oh that's just this is it this is the life boys this is the dream right here get in there anti-mage piss off mate you're gone you're out of here let's put the uh, hunter here put the enigma in the middle get the assassins at the back assassins can jump as far as they want and hunters are only long range well most of them so Assassins you want just put them at the back. They'll jump across the, f the, f the chest piece. You'll see that in a bit Also when I grab tiny Think about getting him to level 3 maybe We're going to think about getting the other pieces to level 3 now Everyone's at level 2 except Morphling and Enigma So yeah You see the sword there. She just jumped. They don't care. It doesn't matter where you put them. They're just going to jump So don't worry about their positioning. You just want to keep your mages protected because they're very squishy But their, power their abilities are very powerful Let's see that Midnight Pulse Enigma. Oh, he's got a 10 second cooldown. Never mind okay we just beat Woolinger who was the one that beat us so bish bash bosh happy days all good in the hood brilliant okay so we don't need to panic we're, we're winning at the moment you know we, I'm gonna try and stay I'm just gonna stay above 40 while I try and hit my um my pieces wind ranger and nah, I'm not even gonna think about getting her to level 3 tide hunter I mean I would be tempted if I didn't need Enigma nope okay that's fine that's fine let's take a little breather okay we're up against the round 30 lizards now we've won them they're usually a very tough fight they are a very good uh, marker of where your team's at oh we've hit two in ranges okay she's just asking she's like bro come on man you just hit two of me and you're gonna turn me down like that you can't and she's right i can't puck you gone anti major you gone i'm sorry boys your surplus to requirements at this point in time did we hit anything no nope. templar assassin that's a long shot that is a very long shot to try and get her to level three but um we're gonna take her anyway i'm gone down now to dangerous dangerous levels and the reason the reason is no reason i'm just I'm bored. <laughs> That's the reason. Personally, I'd stay above 40 there. I wouldn't re-roll. What did re-roll get me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Anti-mage. There you go. I have an anti-mage. But yeah, don't re-roll. I just bought a sniper by accident. My gosh, I need to sell him. Get out my face, sniper. I don't want you here. Okay, we're still winning against Woolinger, who I would say was our fiercest opponent. Yep, beautiful. Although, Seol must be in second. Oh, it's just lost. Well, whose team was this? That was not even my team. I don't know whose team that is, the troll team. Who's got a troll team? It's you? Is it you? I think it's him. Oh, we've hit another Enigma. Absolutely beautiful. We've hit another Razor as well, surprisingly. Can I get a level 3 Razor? No, not right now. Look at this. So this bench is filling up now, so we're going to have to think about who's getting cut. Probably be Tiny. Sorry, Tiny. I'm not going to spend, though. I'm going to try and get back above 40. My um, negligence spending will get me nowhere, unfortunately. So just going to take a little chill pit right here. Take a little breather glass of water maybe i would if i had one i don't have one unfortunately i'm really thirsty to be honest my throat is getting really dry from all this talking i wish i did have one okay up against soul now so this is uh, according to the game our strongest opponent with his uh he's got enigma as well that little son of a gun he's got warlock troll 
so he's got the warlock combo of lifesteal if you ever want to see what the combos they got just look click on one of the guys and it'll tell you down there oh god he died oh god he died um he's gonna die too he's got lifesteal and he's got the troll bonus so his only synergies are trolls and warlocks that's his whole team that's his whole life that's why he's losing guys don't go trolls ever <laughs> i've never been able to make trolls work it's it's a death sentence just don't do it honestly i'm gonna re-roll once here I've hit a wind ranger, might as bloody well. That'll free up a space on my bench. She's asking to be leveled up. Absolutely asking. There you go, get back on the bench, love. Got a free space now at least. Um even so, I don't think time I, I can't believe we still haven't hit a morphling. There is nobody Nobody with a morphling. Oh wait, this guy does. This little shit. He's taking my morphling. Who is this? It's Woolinger, right? Yeah. Oh okay, so that's where my morphling's gone. I don't know why he's got it. He's got a. I don't know, he's got a strange team, this guy. Is. It's assassins. Let's see, assassins and warlocks. Okay, who are we up against? We're up against the assassin warlock team. How are we doing? Oh my god, we've just been destroyed. Oh my trash talk has gotten, to, gotten the better of me. So this is the time where now you're going to think about possibly spending. I think right now I want to hit, hit an enigma and get morphing leveled up as well. Those are two very hot things very high on my list morphling and enigma that's literally what i'm looking for luna i'm sorry not right now love i ain't got space for you try like i said try and concentrate on one thing at a time morphling just got to level two that should be a huge help we've also got these uh shields and stuff that i've not even been giving anybody enigma take that please uh i'm gonna keep rolling just keep rolling 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 in the words of the undertaker he's a wise man listen to him grab that morphling why not Grab that other morphling, why not? Oh my gosh, there is no. There is no. Hello, give me that pe Oh, my, my, my bench is full. Tiny, my friend, I'm sorry. Goodbye. There is no. Bloody Did enigmas. Woolinger. Woolinger's defeated me again. Oh no, I'm getting scared now. I'm getting very scared. I need an enigma. I think as long as I hit enigma, um, we should be back on top. No enigma here. No enigma here. This this man is an enigma. Finding this man. Oh, Wind Ranger. <sighs> yep. She's the uh, number one on my list to upgrade right now, even though she's absolute trash. She's asking for it. There she is again. Um, Morphling, you're gone. Oh, I should have got rid of Razor. My bad. Uh, oh, God, where is he? Where is he? Where is this guy? Come on, man. This is why I say don't waste your money on re-rolling because you never hit what you need, no matter what you do. The game is uh, always against you. And I've just gone down to nine now. Up against the Black Dragon. This guy is very, very hard. Don't worry if you lose to him. Even I'm, I'm going to defeat him right now, but don't worry if you lose to him. One thing to know about Owls as well is um, their, their wins are usually luck-based because they have a their skill is a 50% chance to dodge, which is literally pure luck. So we just got this. This should be very good on our Templar Assassin. Um, we're going to keep re-rolling. Literally all we want right now is Enigma. That's the only thing we can realistically level up. Look at all these oranges I'm hitting and there's no Enigmas. Guys, come on man. What's this? What kind of game are you guys playing? Oh man. Sucks guys. But we don't need to worry too much. We have got, we can take a few losses in looking for our Enigma. We've literally gone down to two gold now. Um, this would be the time to do it, I'd say, because you're around 36. Getting to like around round 40, that's when the game's gonna start end soon. Uh, I think it ends after 45 minutes, so there's only five minutes left in the game, so it's worth um, starting to spend our money and try and stay on top. But up against Soul now, we usually win against him. Thankfully, then put against Woolinger, who is the man to beat right now. Even though he's only level nine, my gosh, this man is a absolute beast. There's no stopping him, is there? I'm scared. Oh, have we just got a level two in? Oh my god, we have. I've never done this. I've never done this because she's such a trash, trash chest piece. If you ask me. Oh my god, it's a level three wind ranger. Let's have a look. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, she's a tree. Oh, she's a frog. Oh, I'm clicking on myself. <laughs> there we go. Okay, she doesn't look that cool, but that's fine. Um, are we gonna re-roll? No, we're not. We're not gonna hit the piece we want. Let's just sell morphling. In fact get a bit more money uh, we still want to hit our enigma
I think it is, she needs to be repositioned similar to how the mages are. I think Morphling can be behind the lines because otherwise the assassins just all jump her and gank her out the way. This sort of, this is the stage where repositioning will actually have some effect. Um, we are up against Woolinger again and it is very close this time. Very close. Like I said with the elves, a lot of the time it can literally just be chance. He's up against a Dragonite. A level 1 Dragonite. No, no, level 2. Yeah, he's going to lose. Tree Ant Protector is... Uh, Compared to Dragonite, it's nothing. Dragonite is a very strong chess piece. Um, are we have we hit our guy? No, we have not. Of course, we have not. Um, what we're going to do now is a swap Morphling for the Wind Ranger. Hopefully, um, now she won't get ganked every time. And we're going to re-roll. Nothing, but we're not. We're not going to re-roll again. We can afford a few more losses, so we might as well try and get some interest and give us the give ourselves the best possible chance of getting Enigma up to level um, 3 and possibly getting our Templar Assassin up to level 3 as well she is next in line she's level 2 right now and I'm pretty sure Soul is dead oh he's gone okay it's just me and Bullinger now how does she run a Templar Assassin she does okay so it's unlikely we're gonna get Templar Assassin level 3 but we're gonna try anyway and probably just keep another one in mind Bullinger how's it going it looks like we've steamrolled her this time the elves, the spontaneity of the elves showing itself true and well here. One match we were steamrolled, and the next match we're steamrolling. That's just the way it is, guys, in the words of the Undertaker. Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. That's right. You guessed it. Okay, we're picking up a uh, razor here. I've got a fan double phantom assassin as well. I am going to reroll one more time. I believe in this click. I should not have believed in that click. <laughs> <laughs> that was a waste of a click. I'm selling these guys. I'm rolling a few more times. I'm addicted to this roll. Oh my god. There's nothing. The guys, there's nothing. It's 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 useless. Okay. Like I said, we can afford a few more losses. No need to rush. Be patient. Only time will tell. Let's see how it goes this time. Will luck be our lady today? It's looking it's looking great it's looking very close oh my gosh it's very very close <sighs> come on wind ranger show us what you make i think this is literally what's making us win right now this wind ranger she is killing it but she's got the elemental resistance she has i thought that was only reserved for elementals all allies oh it's not my gosh that's actually very very good i'm gonna grab this luna does this willinger run luna no, he doesn't, so we might actually be able, get, be able to get her to level 3. But considering there's only 30 seconds left, guys, let's spend all our money. Boom, Luna, hi, you're not going to get to level thingy, but I'm going to buy you anyway, just because I need to buy you. Nothing. Oh, man. Oh, man, feels bad, man. Luna, I'm going to sell you. Actually, never mind, you know what? Oh, there's a Templar Assassin. I didn't even see her. All right, guys, this is probably the last, last round we're going to get. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, there will be one more after this. All I know, I don't know how this game works. I don't know when it ends. It's, oh, it's either something like around 45 or it's 45 minutes. I'm pretty sure it's 45 minutes. Up against the trolls here now is not looking good. They are demolishing us, it seems. But looks can be deceiving. Can we pull this back? I feel like maybe not. Oh, my God, we're getting demolished. Is she getting demolished? Oh, that's the question. She has got demolished. She's on 2% health. We have been almost defeated, but Wind Ranger holding it in there, tanking the damage, doing the deeds. Templar Assassin as well. This is the great thing about her. She just stays alive no matter what with her little super ability to dodge everything. And we've actually come out on top. Oh my god, I did not expect that. Magic resistance. Who needs that? Templar Assassin, I'm sure you want that. Give a 10 armor. Tiny, here you go, my friend. Re regeneration? Um, I don't know. Yeah, you have that. I don't care. I just want to get Enigma right now. Guys, I need Enigma. Where is he? He's not here. He's still missing in action. Okay, that's fine. We defeat the trolls. She didn't. This should be a clear win. Okay, this is the last round, guys. This is it. All or nothing. All or nothing right here, folks. She's got 2% health. If she loses right now, she's done for. If I lose right now, I'm probably okay. Um, nothing's going to happen to me. I can afford to lose a few more times. Maybe I'll even find Enigma. Who knows? Only one way to find out. Here it goes. Templar assassin with a jump across the round. This guy is shooting shit. This guy is shooting shit. Our assassins are, our elves are all ganging up. They're dying. They're falling. Tree out there, healing up. Oh, he's done it. Oh, Wind Ranger doing the damage. There we go. We did it. We only gone and done it. Woolinger. She's one on her board. My gosh. She's pulled through. 
She has pulled through. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Enigma, you got anything to say about that, bruh? Bruh? No? See, Lich has turned up, but Enigma, he's still... Still missing. Enigma? No? No. You know what? This guy... He's just not, he's not, in, he's not up for it today. Look at Tiny there with the four DPS. Round of applause for, for Tiny, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he's trying his best. He's trying his best. Wind Ranger there with 184 DPS. Shows you what level three means to get to level three. Imagine getting this lady to level three. Unfortunately, I don't think the round will last long enough to ever get to level three. Templar Assassin. I almost had level three Doom the other day. I was so excited, but I was one away, one piece away. And the game ended before. I don't know why. 50 minutes, I guess. I don't know why it ends. I'm still figuring it out. Look like it still hasn't ended. I don't know. Woolinger here has defeated me. But it looks like I'm possibly going to defeat him on his board. I have. He has got 1% health. Nope, he's dead. Bish bash bosh. Such is life. Did not hit Enigma still. <laughs> That's fine. 30 wins, 9 losses. She had 29 wins, 30 losses. Ultimately, we win. Duration 47 minutes, round 43. Which one is the cause of the end? I still do not know. And I don't think I will ever find out. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Sleep well. Good night.